All right, James, thanks for joining us. A 4-0 win away to Grimsby Town. What a performance that was. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Because obviously, we've off the back of the other results we've had, it was good to come here and give, the, give an away performance like that. And uh, for yourself, you managed to get on the score sheet. You must be delighted. Yeah, yeah I'm over the moon. Um, obviously, it's been a long time coming. Just had to wait my opportunity and, and give it the best on the pitch. And uh, you know, you had time. You had time, to, plenty of time to think about it. But you, you know, you kept your cool and slotted it in the bottom corner. Yeah, yeah. There's sometimes they're the worst ones when you've got time to think about it. But it was just trying to get the right angle and just quickly slow it under him. So it was, yeah, it was a good finish. And you, you know, you're a fan favourite. The the fans love you. They sing your name every time you come on. How good was it to then go and celebrate a goal with them? Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. Um, um, a big shout out to them because obviously, when times have been tough, I still I still hear them when I'm like warming up or whatnot. So when I when I come on the pitch, it gives me that drive to to do well. It must feel like a reward for kind of the efforts. Ross Embleton was very complimentary in his post-match interview about sort of the work ethic and the, the attitude you displayed behind the scenes. So, you know, to come on and score must feel like a bit of a reward for that. Yeah, no, no, it's great. Ross has been Ross has been good. He's um, obviously he took the job at a different time, a difficult time, but um, he's he's stuck with us. He's always believed in us, even when even though when it's gone bad. So yeah, credit to him as well. So you know, with with an injury to Lee Angle and a suspension to Conor Wilkinson. You know, uh, it's you know, essential for players in the other areas of the pitch to step up and score goals. And in the first half, it was the two centre-backs who did that, both with their feet. Yeah, defenders are doing well. Um, obviously, their job is to keep a clean sheet and, and, and help us win the game. But they're doing it on the other end of the pitch. I was even on the bench saying to some of the other players that I might not get on because, um, obviously, they're scoring with their feet. So, no, they're, they're, they're all-round good players. And they were superb at the back again today as well, you know, a, a clean sheet. Yeah, a great clean sheet. Um, Marv... Woodison, um, Coles and um, Happy, was they they done well to keep the clean sheet. They kept us going and second half they, they rewarded us with the clean sheet as well. And uh, it wasn't just a goal that you made an impact for, you, you came on and won the penalty for the fourth goal as well. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 my game really, when just to, just to unsettle the defenders when the ball's up in the air and they let it bounce. So luckily enough it was in the box and yeah, it was a good penalty from Ray. And uh, a 4-0 win, uh, three wins in a row, it's been a very good month for the O's. Yeah, it's been a great month um, Credit to all the players, all the staff and um, all the fans keeping with us. And now we just have to kick on and, and, and push on. And uh, a new manager came in midweek, Carl Fletcher, took charge and he was watching from the stands. And, and do you think he would have been impressed? Yeah, he, he, he was impressed. Um, obviously, he came training yesterday, he was impressed with what he saw. He gave us um, his targets and whatnot, but it's, it's good to give him that performance to see. He, he's coming into a good environment, so hopefully we can carry on that performance when he takes over next game. And in, from an individual sense, it must be good to go out there and try and impress the new man. Yeah, 100%. I, I feel like even though if we didn't have a new man at the moment, it was it was due for me to just carry on plugging away and, and, and giving that good performance to myself on a personal note. So I'm just pleased to have done it when he's coming. And just finally, you know, the game's come thick and fast. It's a, a, another long trip to Plymouth on Tuesday, but um, we'll be going into it with, with, you know, full of confidence. Yeah, 100%. I feel like we've just got to take every game as it comes. Just make sure where we don't go too high and get too low. Just go out and play the game that we know and, and not change it too much. Cheers, James. Have a good one.